Oh, welcome back, everybody. All five of yous, however many there might be. Anyways, today is like Project Snowball. I've been needing to get my uh, PCV hoses and stuff rerouted since I made some changes. And uh, it's turned into the Battle of Sensuous. Sensuous up, you might as well do this and that. We got the intake manifold taken out of there so that we can proceed to install this guy here. It's a 2005-ish uh, CTSV valley cover that has the built-in uh, PCV box, which eliminates the need to have to run an external PCV valve cleans things up a lot and it's supposed to be quite a bit more efficient in getting the oil out of the uh, crankcase uh, vapors so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, coolant pipe off of there take the old um, knock sensors and valley cover off and we'll get set up to put this one on it's my understanding that uh, to put this guy on an LS1 at least an early LS1 there, uh, inside the block in the valley there's a like an aluminum boss in there and I'm not even sure what it's for but supposedly it has to be cut down for this cover to fit so hopefully I'll show that here in a little bit but I got to get the rest of this taken apart first okay I got the valley cover off okay so I got the valley cover off after removing the steam pipe and took the uh, knock sensors out and anyways so here's the mystery boss inside of the LS1 block so we're gonna cut this basically gonna cut down about a half an inch and then cut across here and just remove this corner if that makes sense so I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna sacrifice an old bath towel that I'll span across the cylinder heads and I'll push down into the valley and then I'll cut a hole in the towel around that boss so that when I'm cutting that piece out of there the uh, towel will not only block off the valley but it'll also catch some of the shavings obviously it goes without saying we don't want to fill the fill the oil pan full of aluminum shavings the other nice thing about using a towel is the uh, the towel have a tendency to uh, catch the uh, sh flying shavings uh, versus plastic which just lets them bounce all over the place and the other thing I will probably do is uh, set my shop vac hose laying up here in the path of the flying dust um, and I think that'll be just fine so I'll get that all set up and then we'll get to cutting okay so here's the towel laid in there and I chopped out about a, I don't know, five inch by five inch section of the towel. And I, I, de I degrease the block around that boss. That's actually a little bit of degreaser I need to clean out of that hole right there. Um, but anyways, um, then I surrounded the hole with uh, Gorilla Tape, which as many of you know is quite sticky. And I've used that to seal the edge up. So after I dry that puddle up, I think we'll be ready to cut. All right, there's uh, no better time than now, so we might as well get this deal done. Let's see if I can knock you guys over with the air hose. So I'm gonna be using a uh, three inch cutoff wheel on a 90 degree air motor to do this cut. I know it's generally frowned upon to cut non-ferrous metals with an abrasive disc, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do.
hoping that's all it'll take. Anything below that uh, black Sharpie mark line is, um, I believe, solid aluminum. Okay, so now before I take all this tape and other good stuff out of here, I'm going to do some careful measuring with a measuring stick and make sure that that's enough. I'm hoping that this doesn't have to be beveled way down. I don't think that it does, but let's find out before we undo all this. Holy shit, boys. Freaking wrestling with this Gorilla Tape. I think I welded the towel to the car. There it goes. Alright, so I'm just rolling this towel up. You know, there was very little shavings in it. I think the towel worked perfectly. Towel's no good anymore, but I don't care about that. In the grand scheme of things, we're incredibly clean down in there. I don't see any dust anywhere. And so, through my uh, magical ruler calculations, I do believe we're going to fit. We're getting ready for a test fit right now. New gasket. Just gonna set him in the place, set him into place for the time being. Put me just a smidge of oil on the rubber seals for the knock sensors. And so if I didn't show this earlier, this is the box that makes this whole magic happen. And so we're at this passageway right here is what we had to make clearance for on the block. I'd say we are in fact good to go. Don't let me forget to take those rags out of there. That would be incredibly stupid. Give her one last little cleaning before I bolt this guy on. And uh, so now it's time to make some heavy duty decisions. I gotta either decide to um, put my LS6 intake back on or put my fast intake on there, which is brand new, which I was thinking about selling. 
which I still may do. Even if I put the fast on here, I still may end up selling it because we are we are ultimately planning on going to a belt-driven intake manifold. Wink, wink. All right there, ladies and germs. So we got the valley cover completely torqued down. I ended up using the small uh, reduced head uh, bolts that come with the Fast 92 intake kit. But anyway, so that's done. Uh, got the knock sensors put back in and torqued up and sealed. I'll still probably end up taping the harness down to make sure that it stays put where we want it. Oh, I didn't turn the radio down, so I gotta make lots of noise. Um, <clears throat> try not to block all the light that we have. So I'm gonna retain my catch can just because it was already here. And uh, I don't really care about the extra half pound of weight. Um, so if you're running a similar setup, what we're gonna do is this is gonna be your in hose is coming from the uh, LS6 valley cover and it's going to come over to the top of your catch can in this case it's an elite engineering um, and then we have the hose coming out the outlet from the catch can this guy here is going to go up to the uh, suction portion of your intake manifold and then it goes without saying your fresh air supply which is up here on the throttle body give or take is going to come up and um, that's going to supply the metered fresh air into the valve cover and uh, as it makes its circulation it comes out and then drawn into the intake manifold if that makes sense so that's pretty much it for uh, today's video and uh, we're going to get ready to put the intake manifold on in the morning. If you have any uh, questions that pertain to putting in this uh, particular valley cover, you guys know where to put them and uh, we'll see you on the next one.